also obtain the Poisson brackets of phi and pi, phi with phi, pi with pi. Okay, then uh, and then if you promote all these variables to quantum mechanical field operators, then that would complete the so-called first quantization of the theory. And this also happens in string theory. Okay, this also happens in string theory. If we can calculate the Poisson brackets of capital X mu and the corresponding pi mu, which is conjugate canonically to X mu. We can calculate the Poisson brackets for this as well as this and then we can use the direct quantization rule and promote all the field variables to the corresponding quantum mechanical operators and then so essentially calculating the Hamiltonian of the theory and the uh, Poisson brackets of the theory promoting them to corresponding commutation rules, commutation relations of the theory that in principle completes the first quantization of the theory. And if we would like to have a complete quantization is the second quantization of the theory as it is usually referred to in the literature. So for doing second quantization we need to make use of some Fourier expansions. The simplest choice is plane waves e to the minus ikx e to the plus ikx but you could choose spherical waves, cylindrical waves, whatever you like. Okay. So that means we introduce annihilation and creation operators and a number operator by, by we call it a number operator I will illustrate. Okay. A number operator is a product of the to the creation operator times the annihilation operator alpha dagger times alpha or beta dagger times beta dagger by definition and the same thing would happen in field theory. Now we will see. So if we would understand those simple things in simple field theory examples, then we would be able to understand these things very quickly. Okay. So many of the rules would just follow there. So now let us uh, go to, uh, let us make little more progress in this direction. Uh, and So let me let me tell you the okay. So uh, for for making it complete, so for first one days, let me let me mention that in QI PI or not QIPI but any general two quantum mechanical operators A and B, you define the, the positive bracket to be And you sum over k, right? That's what you do in quantum mechanics. This is in quantum mechanics. So, for example, for qi pj, I would have sum over k, del qi over del qk, del pj over del pk minus del qi over del pk del pj over del qk now this is zero this is zero this gives me delta ik this gives me delta jk so i have summation over this delta i k delta j k and this gives me equals to delta i j and if I would use the quantization rule then quantum bracket corresponds to 
minus iota times the centimeter, this would give me qi dj, right? That's what we do in quantum mechanics, okay? Now, now we make its generalization to field theory. And so what happens is we would like to calculate the force of bracket of two field operators and then uh, field, field variables and then promote them to quantum mechanical operators. So uh, I could I could write again A. Now this is obviously a function of uh, this is then defined as now now I'm talking about fields so I would have this integration over dz so uh, my a is a function of x and t v is a function of y and t so we will calculate equal time Poisson bracket in field theory we will talk about the equal time Poisson bracket and the equal time computation relation okay so <coughs> dz and sigma over k Time del a over del phi k. This is a function of z and t. This is a function of x and t times del v minus del phi k. This is a function of z and t. This is a function of y and t minus del a over del phi k and del v over del phi k. So now let's do it for phi i phi j. Uh, let's do it for phi i which is a function of f and t and phi j if you like uh, all right uh, but let, let us just keep phi j by t and then if we calculate this some example over k minus del of phi over del of phi del of phi over del of phi with proper arguments these guys would then vanish and here I would have summation over k now this would give me a graph distribution of x minus z times delta i k and this would give me another graph distribution of z minus y or y minus z Dirac distribution is an even function okay of its arguments so this times delta j k times 0 into 0 and this would then give me uh, delta of x minus y into delta of phi j right so and this then i would use the quantization rule then i would be able to write xt phi of uh, 
by p this iota x cross delta ij delta x minus y okay and that is what you have right so uh, this would be the you would obtain this kind of commutation relations in field theory okay so you can obtain all the poisson brackets involving all the field variables of a theory if you have more than one phi you obtain for all of them okay as many phi's as you have whatever fields this field phi is symbolic it's a scalar field but even for electromagnetic field or a spinner field procedure is the same okay this is the same procedure so but the there is a slight generalization from quantum mechanics in the sense that here we now have these field variables which are defined in a four dimensional Minkowski space and therefore we talk about equal time so time in both is taken to be the same when we do not take time to be the same maybe next year if you like some in some topics in field theory when this t and t are not the same that gives rise to the propagators okay so we will not go into that right now we consider only equal time commutation relations and when it comes to string theory then we would have equal word seed time Poisson brackets and equal word seed time commutation relations right so is this so far everything is fine